ancient times Algeria was known as Numidia. The Numidians were known for their army which rode horses, or cavalry. Later they were called the Berbers. Being on the coast of the Mediterranean Sea, the land of Algeria was part of some of the great Mediterranean empires over the course of history. The land was once under the rule of the powerful empire of Carthage, but was later conquered by the Roman Republic and the Roman Empire. In the 8th century, the Arabs arrived and many Armenians converted to the religion of Islam. Parts of the region managed to maintain their independence for periods of time, but the great empires of the Mediterranean were an important part of the Algerian history. During the Middle Ages, Algeria was led by various tribes and Berber dynasties. In the 1500s, the Spanish Empire arrived and took over several cities and settlements. The Ottoman Empire intervened and soon Algeria became part of the Ottoman Empire, in the 1800s the French invaded Algeria. The battle was brutal and the population of the country declined. However, many French came to settle Algeria. France would rule most of Algeria until the 1900s, in the mid-1900s the Algerians began to rebel against French rule. The National Liberation Front FLN, was formed in 1954 and began to fight France. In 1962, Algeria gained its independence and over one million French fled the country. For many years after, the country was ruled by a single socialist party that was almost a dictatorship. In the 1990s there was civil war in Algeria. Today there are still many protests in the country with people wanting freedom of speech and improved living conditions. Algeria large, predominantly Muslim country of North Africa. From the Mediterranean coast, along which most of its people live, Algeria extends southward deep into the heart of the Sahara, a forbidding desert where Earth's hottest surface temperatures have been recorded and which constitutes more than four-fifths of the country's area. The Sahara and its extreme climate dominate the country. The contemporary Algerian novelist Asha Jeber has highlighted the environs, calling her country a dream of sand. History, language, customs, and an Islamic heritage make Algeria an integral part of the Maghreb and the larger Arab world, but the country also has a sizable Amazigh, Berber, population. With links to that cultural tradition. Once the breadbasket of the Roman Empire, the territory now comprising Algeria was ruled by various Arab Amazigh dynasties from the 8th through the 16th century, when it became part of the Ottoman Empire. The decline of the Ottomans was followed by a brief period of independence that ended when France launched a war of conquest in 1830, by 1847 the French had largely suppressed Algerian resistance to the invasion and the following year made Algeria a department of France. French colonists modernized Algeria's agricultural and commercial economy but lived apart from the Algerian majority, enjoying social and economic privileges extended to few non-Europeans. Ethnic resentment, fueled by revolutionary politics introduced by Algerians who had lived and studied in France, led to a widespread nationalist movement in the mid-20th century. Land of Algeria, Algeria is bounded to the east by Tunisia and Libya, to the south by Niger, Mali, and Mauritania, to the west by Morocco and Western Sahara, which has been virtually incorporated by the former, and to the north by the Mediterranean Sea. It is a vast country, the largest in Africa and the tenth largest in the world, that may be divided into two distinct geographic regions. The northernmost, generally known as the Tell, is subject to the moderating influences of the Mediterranean and consists largely of the Atlas Mountains, which separate the coastal plains from the second region in the south. This southern region, almost entirely desert, forms the majority of the country's territory and is situated in the western portion of the Sahara, which stretches across North Africa, people of Algeria, more than three-fourths of the country is ethnically Arab, though most Algerians are descendants of ancient Amazigh groups who mixed with various invading peoples from the Arab Middle East, Southern Europe, and Sub-Saharan Africa. Arab invasions in the 8th and 11th centuries brought only limited numbers of new people to the region but resulted in the extensive Arabization and Islamization of the indigenous Amazigh population. Some one-fifth of the Algerians now consider themselves Amazigh, of whom the Kabyle Amazigan, plural of Amazigh, occupying the mountainous area east of Algiers, form the largest group. Other Amazigh groups are the Shawiya, Chawiya, who live primarily in the Oras Mountains, the Mzabites, a sedentary group descended from the 9th century Ib followers of Abd al-Ram ibn Rustam, 
who inhabit the northern edge of the desert, and the Tuareg nomads of the Saharan Ahaga region.